TV. I'm running a little late. Got to meet Nicole to start off our tour for York College. And there she is. Of course, she's flirting. Uh, are you done here? You ready to start our tour? He was just telling me the places to go. Okay, so where are we going to go? We're going to hit his dorm room and then the rock and maybe the rec center. All those cool things, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Hey, nice shirt. Oh, yeah, nice shirt too. Ready, guys? <laughs> York College of Pennsylvania sits in historic Southern York County. One hour from Baltimore, two hours from Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia, and four hours from New York City and Pittsburgh. York is also close to outdoor activities like hiking, biking, camping, and skiing. So take advantage. Since we are still in central Pennsylvania, Amish country is nearby. There's a lot of other agricultural communities and events, so it's a wide variety of both urban and, and rural kinds of activities. Hey, Shana, what are you reading? Hey. U.S. News and World Report. It's the America's Best Colleges edition. You'll never believe who's in here. Uh, York College? York College of Pennsylvania is listed under great schools at great prices. Oh, York College has an undergraduate enrollment of 4,600, hosting international students from 25 different countries. 51% of the class is female, 49% male, and 14% are of diverse backgrounds. The average class size is 25 students, and the student to faculty ratio is 18 to 1. 80% of York College SAT scores range from 1,000 to 1,250. The average ACT score is 25, the average GPA is 3.4, and two-thirds of York College freshmen graduate in the top two-fifths of their high school. Check you out. What's going on here? Well, this is the Spartan. This cool tradition that happens on campus is where graduating seniors get to write their name on the rock. Ah, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you're not a graduating senior. Don't tell me when I'll give you a paintbrush. Okay. All in-state, out-of-state, and international students pay the same costs. Yearly tuition and fees are about $14,000, plus room and board is an additional $8,000, giving students a total annual price of around $22,000. York College offers 50 bachelor and 3 master degree programs. Nursing, business administration, sports management, and elementary education are just a few of students' favorites. Every biology class that a student will take here at York College comes with not only a lecture component, but a laboratory component. And from our outcomes assessment in biology, our seniors tell us that that was one of their favorite things about biology, is the hands-on lab experiences that they get every week, every level, every semester. York employs 162 full-time faculty members. 76% have their PhD, and 81% have their terminal degrees. I think that the uh, faculty here take a, a real strong interest in undergraduate teaching. Uh, I feel that that's uh, you know, one of the key points of, uh, of York College. All right, guys, I'm here hanging out with the Spartan. Now, is it true that the York College Spartans compete in the NCAA Division III Capital Athletic Conference? Now, they also tell me that the men's basketball team made it to the Final Four in Division III. Awesome. Now, let's take a look around. Hey, Nicole. Hey, How's it going? Alex. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. Come on wow. in. Take yourself home. Take a seat. This place is amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Does everybody get to live here? Uh, not necessarily. This is more upper classman housing. Uh, freshmen do have their own dorms, though. So, but the cool thing is that only for the first year. Um, after that, then they're in an apartment style of living just like this. And does everybody have to live on campus? Uh, for about the first three years they do. Uh, then you can move off campus or you can be a commuter, you know, and even as a freshman. Wow. So. Nice TV. Mm -hmm. So nice in here. Oh, mm. wow. Look at the time. I think oh, I gotta yeah, go. Yeah, sure. But thank Definitely. you, Alex. Oh, it was really time. nice. Anytime. With over 80 different clubs and special interest groups, you are welcome to intramural sports teams, national fraternities and sororities, religious organizations, student theater, newspaper, and even musical organizations. I am involved with the um, National Co-ed Honor Fraternity, which is Phi Sigma Pi. Um, I've been involved with that for going on two semesters now, so um, I love it. I have so many of my friends are in there, and um, it's just a really fun thing to do. You have a lot of socials, you have a lot of services that you do, which I love. It's kind of part of my major. <laughs> um, and then you just get to know more people with recruiting and things like that. So it's a lot of fun. Our school has a few different um activities, plans for the students, and one of them would be sort of Palooza, and we have games, we have pie eating contests, we have a pie throwing contest, we have a dunking booth, we have uh, bingo, or any, any game you can think of, we basically have it, and it's just uh, a, a great time, it's free food, free drinks, free 
submission. Another popular program, um, and I think unique in some sense, is that of forensic chemistry. A forensic chemistry would be for the student who uh, envisions a career uh, examining, analyzing physical evidence that would be brought in from the scene of a the scene of a crime. Forensic science faculty at York investigated the body of Albert DeSalvo, the so-called Boston Strangler, because there were some serious questions about his stabbing death that only modern day forensics could answer. Well that's it for us. I'm Nicole Aaron. And I'm Shayna, York College of Pennsylvania. That's a wrap.